okay so this is the two input nor this is a column decoder of one type where you have a two input nor decoder in the let us say control region it generates four select outputs depending on what a0 and a1 are either of those four outputs would get selected and you would be able to uh, transfer data to and from the bit lines what is the challenge here sir you have shown the uh, bit line pre charge circuits are here after connecting to the with the bit line pre charge bit line pre charge would be up here okay Okay. Yeah. So there will be bit line, pre-charge line uh, going over here, something like this. There would be one circuit everywhere. Now what? What is the limitation here? If I say I will use this kind of a column decoder, what is the problem? very simple so, column decoder so yeah. i mean as we it, to me it seems that as you are moving away across the columns the more rc is coming into picture and maybe oh, that ha 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 always come na sir uh, it uh, consist of pmos only hmm. so area will be large पीमास ओनली तो देखा अच्छा बोला लेकिन एरिया लार्ज होगा एंड सर जीरो कंप्लीटली नहीं कर पाएंगे हम लोग राइट यस व्हेन आई वांट टू राइट अ जीरो आई वांट टू टेक वन ऑफ द बिट लाइंस टू फुल जीरो दैट यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू थ्रू द पीमासस सो व्हाट इज द लिमिटेशन ऑफ दिस वन सो यहां पे आपने देखा कि देयर इज वन स्टेज इसी में आपका मक्स फोर इंप्लीमेंट हो गया Huh? Nor type of a decoding. There is this another kind of a decoding which is called tree decoding. Huh? And over here, what is happening is that you implemented MUX eight. So if if this was the case, how many how many uh, like if I have to implement MUX eight by using this kind of a decoder, how many select lines do I need? Three. Select lines. Address नहीं बोल रहा. Select lines कितनी चाहिए? Eight sir. Eight, eight select lines, है ना? Actually, you need sixteen because S zero and S zero bar. अगर आपका यहाँ पे एक NMOS भी होगा, तो S zero and S zero bar भी चाहिए होगा आपको. ठीक है ना? So let us say, अभी हम simple simple ही मानते हैं. We are saying max eight होगा, तो we would have needed eight output lines, eight select lines there. Eight select lines mean Uh, in terms of uh, area at least you need to have the uh, the pre charge height to be uh, let us say my pitch is 0.1 to 0.8 microns is the height minimum just because of this metal region if i go to max 16 how many lines would be there 16 sir 1.6. So 1.6 micron is the height of the column decoder. Then, so as I go to a higher max, the column decoder area increases very very significantly. Now let us say I had max eight. I do not want to use as many lines. I I have area constraints, so I now want to use only six lines. Hmm. So I save area. But what is the limitation here? यहाँ पे देखो अगर यहाँ पे आपका सेंस एम्प्लीफायर लगना है इफ यू सेंस एम्प्लीफायर इज टू बी पुट हेयर Do you realize the bit line or bit line bar voltage has to come from a stack of three and MOSFETs? 
Huh? Hello, are you able to see the stack effect there? Yes, sir. So this is additional RC. So this device will be slow. Hmm. And uh, what other thing? What what do I mean by this? Any other limitation of this one? Sir, the Y and Y bar are connected to two different uh, transistors, so there might be some capacitance. I think that that's what it's mentioned over there. See, look at it like this. Now this Y will have to traverse across all the eight columns. This one signal has to traverse through all the eight columns. Over here, it has to traverse through four columns and so on. So there are all these additional parasitic capacitances that are coming into picture all over the place. In the previous decoder, there was no such thing. See that data, data bar, one capacitance, that's it. No intermediate wala funda. In a tree decoder, this capacitances are definitely there, but there is also this intermediate capacitances that comes into picture. Hmm? And that will slow them down. Uh, sir, sir, actually, I have some difficulty understanding the. Can you go to the previous slide, sir? Uh, mm -hmm. So I mean, so these two PMOSs that I'm connecting, why I'm needing these PMOSs for? I mean, so how uh, will you how will you multiplex the bit lines so that instead of four pairs of bit lines, only one pair of bit lines goes to the sense amplifier? So I mean, how? Uh, so the after the decoder, it should feed into my word line, and that word line should go to the bit cell. So that structure is not clear, getting clear to me from this picture. So what about column marks? This is column decoder. This okay. This is column right. marks. This is column okay. multiplexer. Okay. Yeah. We're not in the row decoder region. We are in the I/O region only. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So. Do you realize there is much extra capacitance in this structure? This is actually going to be much slower. Hmm. So, what is typically done is, uh, sir, uh, in previous yes. to previous slide, in previous slide, sir, hmm. sir, you said earlier that uh, that PMOS is not going to uh, put a strong zero, right? So, why are we not using NMOS here uh, with PMOS also? Yeah, you can. You have to use. I just said in this implementation, it is not there. So you have to use the NMOS. Also, so, sir, you have to use I transmission do, gates. So sir, I do not understand why we are not using this kind of column decoding. Who said we are not using? Did I say we do not use? So sir, I think so. Uh, what? Which one would be better uh, in first first column decoder or, or second column decoder? Because in second column that decoder, depends on your project goals, no, Prince. Okay, if the project goal is density, okay, okay, yes, yes. Then that becomes their preferred column decoder. If the project goal is a uh, is uh, speed, then this could be a decoder of choice. Okay, got it. Hana. I am giving you examples. Okay, this is one. This is another. This is another. I am just giving you examples to open you up. There is no one design of decoder. As a designer, you have flexibility. Do you want to exercise that flexibility? Do you want to do design work where there is everything is already frozen for you, or do you want to have the freedom to design the way you want it? I would like freedom. Yeah, that is what I am giving you. There is no one answer. Every situation is different. Hmm. So you would use transmission gates over here in this in both the kind of circuits. You would want to use transmission gates so that you can transmit both zero and one. Well. Okay. Yes, sir. So. Uh, What we could also do is 
that implement one stage of MUX at the sense amplifier or write driver. So uh, you remember what we were saying uh, over here, that if the write driver is above the multiplexer or the sense amplifier is, let us say over here below the multiplexer, then multiplexer could be a two is to uh, four MUX. Two is to four decoder there. Okay, there are four lines. You wanted to implement a MUX one, so one is to two MUX could be implemented over the sense amplifier. So what happens? I have to design a MUX eight. There are eight pairs of bit lines coming from the top. The first four, I will take them to a MUX, put a sense amplifier over them. The next four, I put another MUX and then put a sense amplifier over that. And the second set of this one is to two, this control signals goes here to select which switch sense amplifier is being addressed. The outputs are buffered after a latch. So what you have essentially done is you have, instead of a three input MUX, you've used a two input MUX and the remaining multiplexing is being done at the uh, sense amplifier or write driver level. And this then is a area speed trade-off. Are you able to see that? What have I done? I have split MUX eight into two um, sorry, I have split MUX 8 into a hierarchical multiplexing. MUX 4 first, and then sense amplifiers. And the sense amplifier in itself, the enable, is already multiplexed with some, with mixed with address. Okay. Any questions? So here we are increasing the area to yes, but we are improving the performance. Yeah, yes. Okay. By using a smaller max, I have lesser run of the horizontal signal, so I'm improving the performance. Yes. Sir, by using smaller max, how did you improve performance, sir? Could you please repeat on that? So if it was a higher max in the previous slide, we saw that if it is max eight, there is a huge capacitance of eight columns over here. Okay, okay, got it, got it, yeah, got it. Hmm. Yes. So by using this kind of a composite or hybrid MUX, you could achieve better performance. Okay. So, but how I'm paying the area penalty, is it performance? Okay. You have to add now one additional sense amplifier, na? So that area is extra. Okay, right. And if you had implemented a MUX 8 directly, one sense amplifier would have worked. But now you have two sense amplifiers. Hmm? Okay. So, sir, like uh, in the earlier classes that you said that, ki, for example, we were doing ki, uh, if you have MUX 8, then all the bits of word 0 would be coming to MUX. One MUX here would be separating that bit 0 into two kind of Muxes separately, and yeah, then but we would... finally one output only. One output only. Okay. Yeah. Finally okay. one output only. No. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. So. Okay. So another way could be that अभी तो हमने इसपे implement करा. We could also have it at the latches. Output latch is now multiplexed. Okay. What does that mean? There, we will call off something as pages. There are multiple pages. The page which is being accessed, the latch of that particular page would be selected and connected to a global bus. So what do you mean by a page, sir? Page is an arrangement of, uh, so when we will look at uh, row decoding, abhi's word ko park karlo. So what, what did we say? We said that there is a big memory, and in this big memory, there is an array, memory array. Now, suppose I need to make a very, very, very big memory. 
So what would happen? I need to increase the array size very significantly. So word line RC is very high. Even bit line RC is very high. I say that I will split the word line. I will split this particular memory into smaller arrays. This big array I will split into smaller arrays. So what I do is I convert it into pages. Mm -hmm. So these there are three pages over here and these three pages go and come here, let us say. Okay. Uh, so how I move in the pages? I mean, if we split into six pages, right? The whole array. Yeah. yeah. एक कार्टून ओवर So, so somewhat the it seems that the intuition seems to be similar to kind of mux. I mean, trying to lower that. Uh, yeah. Capacity. In this case, yeah. In this case, the output latch of each page is where the multiplexing is happening. Okay, which page is output to be selected? So output latch latch after the sense amplifier is what is being multiplexed. Hmm. Are you able to see this? So the addressing here would become a little bit complex because I'm not selecting now the uh, call rows. On on top of that, I'm also selecting the pages. I mean, which page, and then I would select the column, and then I would select the that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. That is when you're writing. If you are reading, then you select the word line, then select which uh, which sense amplifier, then you select. Uh, uh which output to be taken out on the output bus and so on so one is going up the other is going down okay okay so this is about the column decoder and we said that we can in the io region we can organize uh different parts of the io uh differently so that we could arrive at a different ppa as circuit designers we have that choice we also looked at various types of column decoders and we could choose which we want to use according to the customer requirement according to the specifications of the memory that you are designing 